when this came out, this pissed off so many people. The album, yes, but now the album is very loved. But when they released this as, like, a single, there were so many people upset about it. It's like, oh, the the original should have remained untouched. Oh, this isn't the band to cover it. This cover sucks. It's not that big of a deal. And plus, how many, like, millions of more people, more kids, more teens, even people, like, adults that never really heard the original, but they heard this and they went and checked out the original and people fell in love with it. I guarantee you it's millions. And plus, like, I guess this was like, I was going to say it's the musical take on the song at the time, but there's no like, I suppose there is, but like, it doesn't get heavy or fast or he doesn't start screaming or anything like that. I mean, there's one part you could consider it a spin on the original for the new generation of the time. Either way, I love it. I love this album. It's fantastic. They had $3 bills significant. Yeah, this, no. Yes, it, this would have been the fourth. $3 bills, significant other, chocolate starfish results may vary. Yeah, this was the fourth. And then they had their greatest hits. And then I think the unquestionable truth, I think, was after the greatest hits. Either way, I will always, always love Limp Biscuit. But before I get going, be sure to subscribe. Helps me out so much. Patreon is in the description down below. New uploads every Sunday. Let's do this. No one knows what it's like bad man to be the sad man behind blue eyes and no one knows what it's like to be hated to be faded to telling only lies but my dream is hard on their anger none of my pain and woe can show through but my dreams they aren't as empty as my conscience seems to be
this is the new, like, take. Or whatever. Discover. didn't then and I still don't know like to this day why people got so upset about it like I said I guarantee you millions of people found the original by the who because of that and I heard a lot of like yeah oh they're not the band to cover it oh Fred's voice doesn't fit this song it's like, obviously, they all wanted to do it. And I don't really see a problem with Fred's voice in that. Like, I'm trying to think, like, I think this is here would, like, this album, Results May Vary, is when he really started, like, like, branching off and, like, actually singing a song yeah he obviously had some from um uh chocolate starfish and uh significant other but like this like this album from this point on this is when you really see him like actually like embrace the singing part of it like full force I think it's a solid cover from a solid band. Like, even if you don't like Limp Bizkit, you can't deny Wes Borland how he is an elite level guitar player. Sam Rivers, elite level bass player. John Otto, elite level drummer. They're all so good at what they do. But for now, that's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Later.